So, I'm back for my holiday vacation, and it's the last day of the year, so it's the last chance to get Legend this year. So, let's try to get there. I wonder if I should keep this. I mean, I could coin out Deathlord and then heal it back up after trading. Um, most Paladins I've seen are Secret Paladins, so I won't play around an early quality here. But that's, of course, the downside of keeping Light of the Naru. You can easily draw just another Light of the Naru. But this might not be a bad thing, actually. Like, I trade with my Death Lord, heal it back up, and then heal it with my hero power. And... Reporting for duty. Then I have a 3-2 Light Warden, maybe, at some point. Um. Maybe I'll use it with um, the Arcanai. It's most likely Avenge. The secret. Reporting for duty. Hmm. Fortunately, I can't heal anything to make this work. Uh, one of them might become a 4-3, right? So, trade here, trade here, heal it back up, and then I totally run into a Consecration. I guess I can just throw it out for basically nothing. I mean, it's Secret Paladin, so I don't have to be that much afraid. Okay. Hmm. I got a feeling that this is going to be interesting. <clears throat> okay, I think I want to keep this alive. One of them is probably get down. Like, no way there's no get down here. So... Of course. And of course, the zombie child dies. Sniper juggle. One in four. Great. But at least the rest is. It's not redemption. The rest is pretty much okay here. Still, the sniper juggle was really huge. Okay. Hmm. What should I play first? Hmm. This is interesting. Oh, it was a repentant. Even better. Who am I? None of your business. Uh, the turn six, Doctor Sig. It's a slight problem. Holy Nova. Let's see where this hits, right? Yep. Get down! Uh, the wrong one, of course. Your life. 
Oh no, I don't have an avenge target left. Well... It would have been better to hit this so that I can just shatter it death head, but it's still alright, I guess. Hmm. Oh, I need a light bomb. Or at least I want a light bomb. Hmm. Great. <laughs> nice top deck. Who am I? Oh, come on. Go away. I think he doesn't have anything left, right? Yep. Hmm. This could be interesting at some point. Although, I'll just... So this is five. Welcome to the exhibit. Okay, there's only Tyrion left, and I have an Avulsion, an Entomb, and a Light Bomb. He has to know that this is Avenge. Uh -oh. I'd like to see a spell now. There are a lot of 1 1s, so Sylvanas isn't that great. <sighs> Is Alkanai any better here? Not really. I have no time for games. I can counter rush him at the moment. I mean, I can deal 11, 13. Hmm. He has 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can go up to 17, so he would need 5 more. If he gets a true server, it's just 3 more. Um, I'm still one of lethal, right? 13. Yeah, pretty much. I'm giving him the pyro because I have a lot of spells left. And I might come into a position where I want to use it. I think if this is not Tyrion, I win. Took him a little bit longer to realize. And I should be okay too. Let the hunt begin. The light shall bring victory. Mm, yeah, why not? I think this would have been better going first now. I can play two zombie chows turn one, but then I don't have a turn two really. Other than power shield and see what happens. Yeah, let's keep the coin. So many six drop in the deck that I might want to use something like an entomb against his high main or something. Which I could do without coin, so... Hmm. <laughs> Maybe Vulgin against a Houndmaster target or whatever. Or maybe just playing a turn 4 injured Blightmaster heal. Ah, 
After this, it's probably Animal Companion Leog. So he that he can trade for four. Hmm. That's interesting. Looks like Snake Trap? Snake would make some sense. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess I can play a turn for Holy Nova if I want to. Let's see. Oh no, it's just freezing. Okay. It's not too scary. Still getting rid of all the beasts. Web spinner implies that it's some kind. That he he might play Houndmaster. It's going to be a good Holy Nova. Yeah, I should go for the card draw. But then the question is. Like, if I trade here and here, is there even a reason to hold him over still? I mean, I draw two cards, kill two bodies. But I also waste the coin. I mean, this is something I could get next turn of my Cabal anyways. If I'm patient enough. Eh, why not? Well, he will trade it away anyways, right? At least if I play the pyro, I guess. Right away. Let's wait then. That's why he's kind of inclined to trade here. Whereas if I play the pyro, I lose my AoE potential and he might just trade this into the pyro. Which means I can't steal with Cabal, which means he gets uh, another trap, which I don't want. Yeah, that's pretty much as expected. But now that's a pretty good Holy Nova, so... And um, the question is, how do I deal with high main next turn? Or can I even deal with high main next turn? I can trade this in with Arcanai for 4 damage. It's not enough. Eh, never mind. Could have returned the zombie chow. Might have been better in case of a bow top deck. There's the high main. Light bomb seems. Oh, there we go. Um, if I if this is another freezing, I have nothing to play but the coin. Okay, so I guess I could have used it. <laughs> During the last turns. Hmm. Is this a light bomb? Oh, it's a Sylvanas. I have no time for games. <laughs> My top decks are pretty good right now. Okay, now he goes full face mode. Not. <clears throat> it's his only option, really, so. It's not too bad. Um, Organized Circle leaves him with a random 2 drop. I could trade into the 2 drop and get a 6 1 high main. If it's not, like. I don't know. That Pagel or something. Or Walker Cho. You could also just play the, the two blind masters really. Trade into this, get a hyena or the, the shredder. Oh, let's do it this way. Somewhat elegant. 
Um, that's pretty good. Should have healed myself first, though. Death Lord might have been considerable. Um, given that I only want to block him from here. The only thing I really have to fear is Dr. Boom and some burst, I guess. Burst like this, maybe. Quick shot? Oh. It's not bad. It's a lot of damage. Could use a Light of the Naru here. Or adjust the car. Oh, there's my Death Lord. Um, I guess I hope that's not a kill command or something. I really need to heal myself. My pain. How do I get rid of... No, I need to heal myself. So I can't cabal this, even though I want it really badly. <laughs> Just apply to an unleash. And I need to put up some pressure. Three cards. Basically, what I'm looking for right now. Hmm. I guess that's good enough. This list should run one quick shot to kill commands. Basically has the same three cards out that I have. Pawn Master. Hmm. This was still Eok, would have been awesome. And I got his high main. Hmm, let's see, I have... Two, five, six, then I have five. Huh, if I would have sacrificed one of my chows into the circle earlier? No, okay. So how do I get past this now? I could sacrifice one of them. Six, seven. I don't see lethal. Um, so we'll just go through this the old fashioned way, I guess. Top takes unleash, nothing happens if I play this. how it, this turned out and I lost against like three top things. Uh, there are merits in playing this a little bit safer. Indeed. Really? Nine 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 nine? <laughs> okay, great. Aladdin's and Hunters, the opponents I'm looking for, basically. Coined this out. Could play Curator, but the dice for free. The only way is like playing this to fill, fill my curve up for the next turn and play circle with it. But even then it just dies for free and it can still deal with like master minions and divine shields later. 
So I, I kind of want to preserve the body, even though it's pretty inferior to the mana cost. And we can also deal with spiders and such. Oh. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Creeper implies that it's Secret Paladin again. And not uh, mid range. Yep. I wonder what this means. Justice demands retribution. Happy Feast of Wintervale. It's probably almost always better to trade here. So, statistically, it's the most likely thing is get down or revenge. Revenge could be really annoying. This gets a 4-3. This gets a 5-4. I need this to deal with an avenge minion. Welcome to the Sylvanas again? Uh, Stalag is too weak. 7-4 doesn't do too much. Um, I always heal, right? So Sniper, juggler. In this case, it would have been better to heal this, obviously. Hope it doesn't come back to haunt me. But. Okay. Hmm, I can't heal if I play one of the Arcanoids. Which I kind of want to, yeah. Like, even if he plays Kings, I can still play the second Arcanai and kill the 6-6 six, six with this and trade our hero power. And then I have a 3-5 and a 1-1. One, one. Oh. Well, 50-50. better. Sylvanas didn't have a good target here and this can be uh, it's good to play this while I have a light bomb uh, and it's not too bad to play a Sylvanas into a repentance. Wait five? Is five normal? <laughs> how, how can I still not know this? It's novel tech, avenge, competitive spirit, redemption, repentance. Yes. You barely see five because they usually draw one of the one-off secrets earlier, but in this case... Do I want to light bomb? Do I want to attack? No, I just... I have no time for games. Is someone injured? Play this and wait, I think. And you can kill my Death Lord. If it gets something really bad, I just light bomb. And if not, I can. I have good chances of stealing like a 7 5 or something. Reporting for duty. To get a little bit lucky here. No! 
Or do I? Not really. I'm confident that my deck holds more value than his. Put your faith in and exactly against the Tyrion, I don't want to play the death beforehand. I could go a really ambitious route here. If I Sylvanas death and steal this, basically everything dies to the Tyrion. I guess I should just death it. Welcome to the exhibit. Even though I would love to entomb it, of course. Wow, another Sylvanas? It's probably the best one still, right? Um, what is going to happen? I death this, I heal this. Hit here. Um, death heal 5 means I have 2 mana, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's play triple Sylvanas. And I still have this for Dr. Boom. Face. What is left? It's only noble sacrifice, I think. Keeping the pyro around, I still have two power shields, two light of the Nauru, one circle, a holy nova, and tomb. Hmm. Better. What I have here. No time for games. I guess he's emoting again. So there's only one boom left, and maybe a second shredder, maybe a second belcher. Things to be feared of. Otherwise, there is a secret keeper. Ah, oh, there's this boom. Okay. Is interesting. Let none survive. This always happens. The question is, do I go this has been played after my Sylvanas, so I wouldn't even steal his two drop. Okay, so I'm going with this. Good chances that I steal the shredder. Nope. Still not too bad. Oh, the muster. Welcome back, Dr. Boom. The battle. Hmm. 
Too bad all my Sylvanas are gone. <laughs> a light well. That's a pretty good Vulture target. The spirits be restless. The victory is yours. I wonder if Wendy Jr. is ten thousand now. Probably. Anduin versus. Oh no, it's a warlock. Hopefully zoo. The light shall I suppose. Hmm. And I hope it's just just two more games until Legend. Oh, that's very low curved. Hmm. If I coin these two, I might be able to draw two cards off the circle. Probably not. Kept two cards. Interesting. Good enough. Most warlocks I've seen recently are handlocks, so this doesn't really matter. Just playing on curve and keeping my options should be good enough. Can play this coin shield into potential hellfire. I have nothing for drakes. Hmm. Nah. The damn stand ready. Ah. Ah. Don't touch that. Should have done this first, of course. And given that he tapped twice. I'm more afraid of Hellfire and more that it might be regular handlock. Interesting. Shadow Flame would be pretty bad. Any Taunt Giver would be pretty bad. I have nothing to deal with it though, that's just 6 damage, anyways. Welcome to the exhibit! Stalag. Nah, uh, it's just a BGH target, it's also easy to kill. It's like a Shredder is the more sticky one. And then I can as well just... Try to draw something. My fate is if he has exactly... You re-statue into Shadow Flame. I guess I'm just screwed. But at least he doesn't do anything, and then I count and follow it up with Shredder. And I got a Light Bomb. Hmm. The handlocks are difficult to handle. Maybe if I get an Orkanai and can sacrifice this Chow, then I have a good amount of burst. Oh. Oh man, now I wish I didn't coin earlier, then I could just light bomb here, these two die, all of my survive. Do I apply this? Eh, why not? I think I don't have to be afraid of Moltens now. Because you can only play one more, and then I, even then I just light bomb. It's questionable whether or not I should play the Shredder, I guess. But at least I have something left after a Light Bomb then. Both Moltens are gone. This wasn't too bad. Looks like he was a little bit afraid of Burst. 7, 8, 9. Yeah, the Shredder doesn't really 
accomplish much here. We'll just die. Hmm. Maybe uh, get a two three if you like uh, if you dark bombs it. He didn't. Well, easy light bomb. It would have given me a 2 3. Uh, now I wish again I wouldn't have coined. Circle would be really nice here, draw 3 cards. But it seemed like he didn't have a board clear earlier. Uh, maybe I should have circled. Because. Hellfire is pretty good now. <sighs> it's difficult. <coughs> and I think one of these cards are a Dark Bomb. Probably this one. You kept it. The opening hand, I didn't play it yet. So it's like, oh, it's a Chow. I won't hit it. Huh. Great. Now AoE is here. Once again. Um. Maybe I go full Northshire. I mean, I just need an Akanai, then I have a 5 damage burst here. And even more if I play this. Mm. This is a 3, 6. Let's draw one card. Is someone injured? Uh, let's play one Cleric, draw two cards. <laughs> That's good enough. My fate is sealed. He didn't play Hellfire last turn. Just the curse sets me up for some pretty good turns afterwards. I have Entomb if you play something big. I really want an Akanai. I have a Zombie Chow here, I have this here. I have my improved hero powers, so I have like 7, 10. Damage of burst. So it seems to be a regular list. I haven't seen any weird cards, and I've seen two Moltens, so it's probably not a Reno list. Um, so I guess he might play two Hellfires. Makes it somewhat likely for him to draw it. And that's a really good Hellfire. It doesn't get better than that. And there's the Dark Bomb. Yeah, it's the card he kept in the opening hand. Kinda as expected. Second one. Yep. So this is five, six. I can put him down to six. Yeah, there we go. Could have even made this. Um, played Zombie Chow and killed the Chow with it to make it two more damage. Hey, final game, hopefully. Keepers another warlock. Uh, I'm not sure how I like this. Um, probably not at all. At least it's a low rank warlock, but. Hmm, interesting. Most warlocks I've seen recently are still handlocks, so yeah. Looks seems to be another one. Yep. And handlocks and Jaron are, are at least hard for priests. I think this list does okay, like earlier, but it's still hard. Imp game? Yeah. Okay, so it's probably Reno. Handlock things. Hmm. Kinda want to keep the circle for the Akanai, I think. Or do I? Yeah, let's just draw a card. Is someone injured? I need options against Handlock. 
And if it's Reno, he... Oh, okay. Oh, maybe it's Zoo. Eh, it looks pretty much like Zoo. So, against Zoo, I should be fine, I guess. Could go for the Okanoi Circle here. Which would mean that implosion would be bad. Okay, let's see what happens if I don't do it. I should go for the kill here. And then play Blightmaster Circle, maybe? No. Nah. I can also do 5 damage to his face. That's as good as it gets, I think. Implosion is pretty much the worst case. Uh, okay, maybe Mortal Coil. Okay. It's not too bad. Oh, that's not too bad at all. And I'm keep pressuring his face. Needs a little bit to go through this, like power overwhelming and another thing. Which is kinda nice right now. I and I have Entomb so I can deal with um, bigger stuff coming up. Argus is not great, he showed that he didn't have an... Okay. It's still just 7. I have 5, I have 7 damage to his face. 10 if I want to. The other option is just to play Cairn. I lose the 3 damage to face option then though. Which is quite a powerful option. I lose 5 damage. I can put him down to 5, but then I only have... A Blightmaster, like I have a 4-3 which dies to this, so I have to assume this, this happens. And this dies to this, and then there is a 1-2. I can't heal, so what I could do is like... Actually, maybe there's better options in general here. Healing this. Nah, I just play Karen. I can use this later on. I'm still in a pretty good spot. And he can't tap too much. So, wow, okay. So I got rid of one of his biggest strengths. I might have to entomb this. I think I wouldn't... Oh. Yeah, looks like it. Well, this was really swingy. I didn't expect to get. Nah, I didn't expect it to go that much wrong. Um, is this really the option I have right now? Goes down to six. Six doesn't do anything for me. Oh, fine. That's eight, ten. Hmm. In the light's name. And I can play this next turn. Maybe I should have done my face play. Like, everything to the face. Hmm. Interesting. If he, tr if he makes this trade, I get a better Holy Nova, which is kind of cool. This dies to Holy Nova. Oh, God. This will die to Holy Nova, and this will die to Holy Nova hit. So, hmm. It's not too bad. It's a little bit bad. For honor. He still has 8 damage on the uh, 5 on the board. He needs 5 more. For honor. 
But I have eight and he has six health, so. I hope I force him to trade this way. I already had two Doom Guards, one power overwhelming. So I need something like exactly abusive sergeant um power overwhelming. Oh, well, this makes it a little bit more likely. <clears throat> Still thinks about trading though. I wonder what's more important. I kind of want him to deny him more cards. Uh, okay. I originally planned to heal myself, but I want to make this a threat. If he can somehow deal with my Belcher, which he can't! Nice! <laughs> so, Legend! In... at least... an interesting spot. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's it for 2015 for the December season and another legend again with um, pretty good win rate. I'll um, have a look later on. And I'll do, of course, an end of the year review video later on. So if you expected something here, um, I suggest to have a look at my other videos. <laughs> uh, I wish you a happy new year and thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.